All right, what's up guys? So we are back with another one. So uh, this is a question I've been getting asked a lot. I didn't really want to have a serious discussion about it, but you know, let's 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 ramble a little bit. Let, let's just go. So what is the topic of today's video? It's how to pick a character in Guild of Gears 5. You know, so I made a video before. It's kind of a joke, you know, because I think it's kind of like a joke topic, but let's let's get serious. It's very, very easy. The first step, the most important step, uh, it's not just Guild of Gears 5. When you learn how to pick a character in any fighting game, ready? Don't spend 55 minutes watching a YouTube video telling you how to pick your main character, okay? It's 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 that easy. It's that easy. All right, so I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Shout out to Rufo Manga. He's been putting out a lot of videos and stuff. People, look, 75,000 people watch this. They obviously like that. But I saw this. I was like, what the? What the hell? 55 minutes? A 55 minute to tell you what kind of character to pick? So what I, my my stance, what I'm going to say is don't, don't stress over it. This is not that serious. You don't need to listen to anybody to go in some deep PhD discussion about why you should pick this character, what they do. The game already on its own, if you just look at the characters here. So I got the chat in the way. So Nagoyuki, he's a one-shot character. And then they got some cool stuff. What is that? His blood-sucking blade delivers a devastating blow. All right, you get the lore right there. Melee, she's high speed right there. Chip, soul's balance, right? So you got this general this general idea of what they do. If you, if you have no idea about any of these characters, right? You kind of have the general idea. It's like they have difficulty. They have their general play style. Like he's a long range, unique, da 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 da. So right off the bat, that that's enough. Now the other thing too is Guilty Gear Strive. You know, old Guilty Gear games, without a doubt, were very very hardcore, right? Very very hardcore. Not just Guilty Gear. A lot of the old fighting games, very very hardcore, very very difficult. You had to invest a lot of time before you could even get started. You know, some characters you couldn't figure out. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this character? It's like if you don't know an advanced technique or something, you can't actually play them. But, you know, new games, not just Guild of Your Strive, but a lot of new games, very, 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 as much as people hate this word, very, very accessible, right? Very, very accessible. So instead of spending 55 minutes watching this, just pick a character and go to training mode. You mess around in training mode. Uh, the game's got a really good mission mode and things like that. It's got all sorts of, all sorts of, just play the games. All I want to say, play the game. Just Try it out. So you have to make a decision though. It's do you want to win or do you want to play a character you like, right? So if you want to win, you just you pick whatever game you're playing, you pick Soul, pick Ram, find out who the best character in the game is, just pick them, right? If if that's your goal to win, which is fine, some people are like that. But majority of the time, just pick who you like, pick who you want, try them out. And the thing is, you know, that might not be the character you stick with, right? It might not be the character you stick with. That's absolutely fine. So me for Guilty Gear Strive, I've played Soul then Kai, then uh, Nagoryuki, then Leo. Now I'm playing Angie. And honestly, I don't think I'm gonna stick with Angie. I think I'm gonna move on to a different character. I'm gonna try everybody out until I feel something that clicks. And I'm like, all right, this is this is the one I'm staying with. Maybe it is Angie, who knows? But you know, I'm not watching videos. I'm not having theory discussions with people. I'm just out here in the streets playing, trying everything out, experiencing things. And one common, you know, one common thought and idea people say is that, like, I don't want to waste my time. I didn't waste any time, you know? Playing all these characters makes me better at the game in general, you know? I, I get familiar with the game. It makes picking up a new character even easier. And then not only that, now that i play played those characters, I understand how they work. And now when I fight them, I know, like, what to expect, you know? You're never wasting time. As long as you're playing the game, you're never wasting time. It's fun, right? So, so when you get the game, just play. Just play, just play. So this is not just a Guild of Gear thing. This is a kind of like a, I'm, I'm gonna ramble. I'm getting a little personal right now. A little life advice from an old man, but not just video games, but you see it a lot in, in kind of life, right? People are so focused on like learning what they should do, what's the best, how to do this. Like think of like a new hobby, right? Let's talk about like mountain climbing. You know, I saw this in Japan, like, like hiking or mountain climbing, right? So these dudes want to go on, you know, what's the best brand of everything? I've got to look up all the best equipment. I have to understand this is better than that. I have to look up all this high tech stuff. Like what's the optimal weather, all this stuff. They do all this. They spend all these like, you know, weeks, months preparing. They never actually do it. They never actually go out there and do it. Meanwhile, you got random dudes just like, whatever, man. I, I climbed Mount Fuji with a guy who was wearing Walmart jeans and just sneakers. He had a horrible time, but it, by the end, you know, at the end of the day, he climbed Mount Fuji, right? He, he did it, right? It's the same thing with a fighting game, man. Stop worrying about, you know, man, I really got to think that's that's not the character for me. You know, this is not the perfect pick for me. I don't know. I still don't know what I'm doing. Like, just, just play, man. Just do it. You can see in the way I make YouTube videos, man. I don't plan any of this. Just, just go. Just make a video. Ramble. 
And who knows? When you're done, you're like, hey, I'm glad I did it. Just don't think. Basically, the same thing I tell you in fighting games. Just don't think. Just do it. Just do it. So, yeah, that's my advice for you. Not just Guilty Gear Strive. Any, any fighting game, you know, how to decide on a character. Find the one you... Who looks cool? Play them. Just go. If it turns out they're not cool, all right, find the next person. Play them. Just go. Just do it, man. Just go. Just go. It's easy. It's easy. So, again, shout out to Ruval Monger. Making a lot of cool Guilty Gear Strive content. Shout out to you guys that really enjoyed watching it. But, damn, 55 minutes. I can't believe it. Just play, play the game, people. Come on. You can do it, boys. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. So yeah, there you go. I just wanted to share my my thoughts on that because people keep asking me, like, who should I play? Da, da, da. You figure it out on your own. Don't don't listen to other people, man. Just figure it out on your own. But uh, like always, let me know what you think. Do you have any advice for me? Who should I play? Can you can you write a give me like a couple paragraphs? Who should I play? I don't know, man. I can't figure it out. I need a stranger on the internet to tell me who I should be going with. I, I have no idea. But like always, you're so watching. Thank you. Leave a comment, and I'll see you the next one. Peace.